This is tutorial number 23, and it covers how to use the Embose feature to engrave text within Autodesk Inventor. Now to start off, let's open up a part file. Let's click File, and let's open up the Engrave Text tutorial part, which I've included on the DVD. Now what we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to engrave text along this face here, and we're also going to engrave text along this curved face here. To start off, what we have to do is create a sketch with the text, but to create a sketch with the text, we have to make a work plane off of the surface first. So let's choose the work plane. Click the top surface, and it doesn't matter how high you make it go, the offset, just make sure it's above it. Click OK. And let's look at it from the top a little bit. And let's click the work plane that we just made and let's click sketch and what we're going to use to make the text is the text button here so let's click it and what you have to do is create a rectangle first for where you want it to be so if you want it up here you would make a rectangle up there for us we're just going to throw it in the middle somewhere so we're just going to make a rectangle and once you finish making the rectangle you're going to get this window and this allows you to edit the text and everything so first in the blue we're gonna write what we want to say so let's type in Autodesk Inventor and for now just leave all the settings how they are click OK and you can see that we created our text as a sketch on that plane so now let's click return and let's get in those let's click it and what you have to do is select the profile you want to engrave into it. So we want to do Autodesk Inventor, so once you highlight it, it turns red, so we'll click it. And then we're either going to extrude out, which is this, or we're going to cut into the face. So first we're going to extrude out, and right now the green arrow there is pointing out, and we need it to point in, so let's change it so it points in and the depth here shows how much it's going to come out. So right now it's at one millimeters. That's okay for us right now, so let's click OK. And now we can see that we've engraved the Autodesk Inventor word text into the part. Now we can edit this. So let's right click, click Edit Feature and say we want to make it a little more to come out so let's change the depth to 5 mils click OK and if we rotate it we can see that it came out 5 mils this time now you don't just have to use words you can use numbers too so let's click the work plane we just made let's click sketch and we'll do another text but this time we're going to do numbers Let's do it just below the Autodesk we did, and let's type in 1, 2, 3. Let's click OK, and you can see the sketch that we just made. Let's click Return, click in Bose, and we'll click the profile, 1, 2, 3. This time we're going to engrave it into the face. And if we look at it on the side, the arrow is pointing out and we want it to point in because we're going to engrave into the surface so we have to change that and right now it's going to engrave one mil in so let's click OK and we can see that we engraved one mil into the surface face now here let's get rid of this work plane here let's uncheck visibility so now we can see how we've extruded out a text and how we've cut in with a text. Now let's do one on a curved surface. Let's click work plane and click this surface and bring it out. Click OK. And we'll just rotate this a little bit. Now we'll click that work plane we just made there. Click sketch and click the text part again and we'll sketch on the curved surface here 
Now in here, let's type hello. And this time, let's change the format. Let's change the font to Arial Black. And you're able to adjust the font and the font sizes. It's up to you. All the tools that you need are right here. Let's click OK. And we've created our text there. Let's just click Return. Let's find the Embose feature. We'll highlight the profile there. And for this, let's engrave into it. And to make it go along the curved surface here, we're going to have to wrap it to the face. So let's click Wrap to Face. And we'll choose this face here. Now we'll only cut in one mil. And let's click OK. Now if we go to the back, we can see that they cut into it with a hello on the back. Now if we want to change it to the front side with the hello, all we have to do is right click the feature we just made, click Edit Feature, and change the direction. Click OK. And now it says hello on this side. And that concludes our tutorial on how to use the Embose feature to engrave text within Autodesk Inventor.